I just want to go over this with you here. Now she did tell you that, that she was 13. You can, as you can see right, right there, she told you she was 13. Yep. So you remember that, right? Yep. Well, what was your plan? I mean, were you trying to get a, more than a hole in one or what? Play golf. Just play golf. Yes. With a 13 year old girl. You said you'd rather me not submit this. Um, if, if, if I could beat you. If, if you can take me on in, oh, in the 18 oh. holes, um, you may have an opportunity to redeem yourself. Really? Hey man, it's like pressure on me now. Oh, look, <laughs> oh, look, a little bit. I mean, this could be the defining factor. And if you go to jail or down, so yeah, yeah, you gotta make this shot count. This guy showed up to a miniature golf course to meet up with a 13-year-old girl. Now, luckily, I was there instead of a 13-year-old girl because who knows what would have happened. But nonetheless. I did end up playing him in three holes of miniature golf in exchange for me to not tell the police about his actions. So uh, stay tuned to see how this unravels. What up, y'all? It's your boy Skeeter Jean back at you with some more Predator Pasta, this time with a hole in one for dessert. That's right, this guy showed up to a pirate themed uh, miniature golf course to meet up with a 13 year old girl and possibly score some 13-year-old booty. Who knows what his plan was. All right, so we're just going to jump right into it here. So this is our boy um, Aaron with two A's, or A.A. Ron, if you will. Here we've got a uh, picture of him standing outside of what appears to be a home. Got a um, all brick wall behind him. Hashtag Brick Squad Baby. Looks like he's holding it down. Now he does have some pretty dreamy um, blue eyes here and a little bit of hair on the chin and right below the lip and of course we do as with all predators see an amber alert mustache here um, that he has it's pretty prominent uh, again total zaddy if you ask me and here he's wearing um, all black an all black shirt and an all black um looks like a liquor store fitted cap um, now I would assume here he was wearing um, all black forces as well um, Air Force Ones just kind of fits the look. Now, when he pulled up to the miniature golf course, he did claim to have been in his trunk of his uh, Durango changing his shoes. So I'm pretty sure he was changing either in or out of the Black Forces. Now, this was a bit of a unique case because Aaron here actually didn't say anything sexual to this 13 year old girl that he was talking to, which just baffled me. We usually don't see this. Now, technically, since he did try to meet up with this 13 year old girl it still falls under the category of uh, luring a minor no matter what the intent is um and you know i just gotta I, I had to call him out for it you know it's 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 luring a minor still now when i confronted aaron at the golf course here he did admit that it was wrong for him to be trying to meet up with this 13 year old girl and honestly you just seemed like a bit of a lonely guy but it doesn't make it okay still I mean, even though he didn't get sexual in the conversation, uh, who knows where it really would have went had a 13-year-old girl been there to meet him. And after the confrontation, I did give Aaron a chance to redeem himself by offering to take me on in three holes of miniature golf. I'd say it went fairly well, and um, the whole time, um, it seemed like in Aaron's mind, we were just uh, a couple of boys just, you know, kicking it playing some mini golf and he seemed to forget the whole reason he was playing which was so I would or wouldn't submit the information to the police now here the pressure was really on for Aaron because this game of miniature golf was going to be the defining factor on if his actions would be forwarded over to the police or not now he started sweating a little bit which wore off the uh, whatever cheap cologne he had on this day and that actually could have been avoided if he had just put on a cologne from none other than Scentbird. And oddly enough, this video is actually sponsored by them. So the other day I was bringing my dog Nico here to the uh, dog park, so I went for uh, more of a woodsy scent. That's usually what I go for when I'm doing that. So I sprayed some on myself, then I figured, hey, why not spray it on Nico too, just to see what happens. And I brought him to the dog park, and oh my god. He had all the big all over him. It was crazy. Not like the derogatory term, like like actual female dogs. Like they, they were just just swarming this guy. Like, look at him. He's got like you know, you know a tie on and everything. He's he's, he's freaking he's, he's handsome, you know. 
it uh it, it didn't work out for me though i didn't really i didn't get any action um maybe it was the wrong the wrong scent for me or, or maybe i'm just ugly i don't i don't know Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance for only $17 a month, so you really can't go wrong here. It's a good way to make sure you're smelling right before you hit the club and lean back like Fat Joe back in the day. Choose from a variety of perfumes, colognes, and they even have a few unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply, so you can try each scent before you buy it and spend $150 to $300 on the full-size bottle. So just to show you guys, when you get your stuff from Scentbird, it's going to come in a nice nifty little bag like this. And here you have your scent. It's going to come in a uh, nifty little case like this. To get your scent out of the case, you just twist that boy open and boom, pull out the scent. My pull-out game is strong. And here we have the Room 1015 scent. Uh, this is what I put on myself and uh, my dog Nico over there when we went to the uh, dog park. And here we have the good old Pegasus scent. Um, I put this one on whenever I'm feeling majestic. And here we have the Sense of Wood scent. Um, I put this on whenever I'm about to go out to the club. It's a real lady killer, if my dashing good looks didn't do it already for me. <laughs> If you want to check out Semper, be sure to use my code down below for 55% off of your order. That's just around $7 for the first month. Thank you so much to Semper for sponsoring the video. Now, let's uh, get back to the video. Well, that's uh, pretty much all I've got for you guys on this one. Be sure, if you're not already, to hit the subscribe button, like this video, turn on the bell icon, to become a part of the notification squad. Hit the join button down below to become a YouTube member if you wish. Also check out my uh, merch in the description below for the uh, Predator Pasta shirts that we have. Well, I am your host, Skeet Hansen, and you've just been skeeted. Hope you enjoy this game of miniature golf. What up boys, it's your boy uh, Skeet Hansen here, back Asha, with some more Predator Pasta. Um, this time we're waiting for this guy to uh, show up here, his name is uh, here. His name is Aaron, as you can see here, he's got some pretty blue eyes, wearing all black. He's probably got black forces on here in this picture, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, pretty nice liquor store hat that he's got there as well. So right now we're here at the uh, Pirate's Point here, it's a, uh, a uh, putt-putt golf uh, place slash uh, go-karts. They have go-karts. He's talking about going go-karting with a 13-year-old girl, but since he's meeting here at Pirate's Point, it looks to me like he's after some 13-year-old booty. So we'll uh, ask him a little bit more about that when he shows up here. Now, he hasn't gotten sexual, but he is still, uh, you know, he knows the girl's 13 and he's trying to meet up with her. So, uh, you know, that's, that's not okay. Not in my book, at least. So uh, we're waiting here for him, waiting over for the decoy, and then we're gonna go uh, and see what this guy's real plan is today. All right, boys, just got word from the decoy that he's gonna be pulling up in a green Durango. So we should see him pulling up right about in here um, any minute now. We just got word that he's he's almost here, so we're gonna we're gonna be on the lookout for a green uh, Dodge Durango. Oh my god, that's it. That's the green Durango. He's he's in the left turn lane right now. Zooming out. He's making a turn. He's coming in. He's always oh, coming in hot. He's making this turn nice and slow. Oh my god, I'm to the decoy. Here he comes. There he is. Army green Durango. That's actually a pretty nice car. Pretty nice oh, you can see the hat on too. See the hat on. Oh. All right, boys, we're gonna just wait for him to, uh, just gonna wait for him to get out of the car, and we're, we should see him walk right up there to the, uh, we told him to meet, meet right over there by the vending machines. So we should, we should, uh, so we should see him walk up there any minute now. Here for this 13-year-old booty, unbelievable. Okay, that's where he parked. He's, he's, he's got the trunk open. See him? He's, he's, he's got the trunk open right there, I see him. Yeah, I see the trunk open. Yeah. Decoy just said he's changing shoes and walking over. That's what it is. I see him right over there. He's sitting in the trunk. He's sitting in the trunk of his Durango. Okay, I see him walking over right now. How's it going, Aaron? You here to play some Predator Putt Putt golf or? No. What are you here for? Huh? What are you here for? 
I'm here to play golf, yeah, but not oh. a predator from golf. No. Oh, who, who are you, were you here to play with someone, or? Yeah, I don't know who she is. Yeah, who, who, was, who was it you're supposed to be meeting here today? Um, her name's Rebecca. Her name's Rebecca. I just want to let you know, uh, Darren, I'm with the Predatory Investigation Unit. My name's Skeet Hansen. We do work in conjunction with the police now. Okay. I just want to have a brief conversation okay. with you. Now, now, where do you know this Rebecca from? From uh, Meet Me. From Meet Me. Yeah. Okay. And, and how, how old is how old is Rebecca? I don't know. She she if she's on Meet Me, she's got to be over 18, right? Well, she doesn't have to be. It seems to me like anyone can get on the app. Well, I don't know. You know, you know, you have no idea how old she was. No, nah, she told me she was over, over, and then she told me she was under. Okay, well, I don't so recall I, any of that. I said, okay. I said, yeah, I don't recall any of that, but I just want to go over this with you here. Now, she did tell you that, that she was 13. You can, As you can see right right there, she told you she was 13. Yeah. So you remember that, right? Yep. Okay. Do you want to just have a seat for me over there so I can so I can go over some of this with you? Okay. Yeah. I, for a I, minute. Aaron, am I in trouble or anything? Because I didn't uh, do anything wrong. Well, Aaron, that's really not up to me to decide. Do you want to just have a seat right there for me, though, so I can just talk to you for a second? That's all it says. I really just wanted to talk for a second. Okay, you can just talk to me. I'm just, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, yeah. I was in the shed. Yeah, I was yeah and you were talking to her for yeah. a little while here. Never said nothing dirty, nothing. Yeah. I yeah, no. I, I just wanted yeah. to take, she said she never been out and she hasn't been out. And I uh -huh. said, okay, that's fine. We'll go. Okay. That's, I ain't got nothing to do today. I got gotcha. Yeah, well, yeah, I agree. You know, she, you know, you didn't say anything uh, sexual um, in the, the chat. That's usually to. what we get. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. I, I got gotcha, you, but I mean, what makes it okay to meet up with a, you know, with a 13-year-old girl? I mean, how old are you, Aaron? Huh? 32. You're 32. Yeah. And don't you think it's a little bit odd yeah, for yeah, a 32-year-old yeah. man to but hang I out with a 13-year-old yeah. girl? True. Okay. I think that's why I said you want to go public and go golfing or not. Right. Meet up in the public. I, I don't want to go anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So with the pup it seemed, I, I don't know, what was your plan? I mean, were you trying to get a, more than a hole-in-one or what? Play golf. Just play golf. Yes. With a 13-year-old girl that any, you met online. I, I, any girl. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to understand, Aaron. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, th this is potentially someone's daughter we're talking about. Do you have kids I of know. your own, or no, I don't. You don't. Well, how would you feel if you had a, say, a 13-year-old daughter and I, a 32-year-old man was coming said, to meet up you, I, with well, her? That's you why know. I said, don't you think your mom would be mad? Or I, I don't want you to get caught up in your, you know, what yeah. I'm saying, getting in trouble. Well, I was well, like, what about you getting caught up and getting in trouble? True. I mean, that, that could happen if I, too. Yeah, you know? if I did anything, I wouldn't do yeah. anything. You know what I'm saying? I, okay. It's way under my age limit. You know what I'm saying? Way under your age limit yeah. to do anything with, but it's not under the age limit to, to, to meet up. Or, no. Okay. Yeah, it, it, well, I understand court. what you're saying. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you understand how I'm looking at it. No, I understand. You, know, you, no, I understand you did come across her on a dating app, so. No, yeah, exactly. I came on a dating app. I, I, yeah. I was coming here and I said, I, I, I'll take you to, you know, here. Whatever. So just, uh, so yeah. your plan was to take her. For a putt to pop a golf for 18 right. holes and go karting and yeah, that's and, it. and that's it. That was the whole. That was it. I, I mean, honestly, I, Aaron, if I, I mean, if I had a dime for every time I heard that, I'd be able to buy a gallon of gas with it right now. You know. 100%, bro. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, I've been in this business for a, for a little while, so. Well, I'm 100. You know. Okay. I, I had no reason to do anything else. I, I, Underage, and then she told me she was underage, and I said, "Okay." Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, this no, falls I under the I, category. If I, of... if I was in that situation, right. if I was her dad or her mom, right. and it I wouldn't would be okay, to, right? No, I would like, want to meet. The what guy makes it okay for you to do it, though? So I want to meet the person. I would yeah. want to meet the. <laughs> that's what, she kind of threw me off. Okay. Well, well you, I just want to know, Aaron, doing... what makes it okay for you it's not, to? It's not okay. It's not. So it's why not okay, why do it, Aaron? I don't. That's what I'm trying to understand from you. I don't know. I was bored. I didn't understand. Just today. bored. And, said, and, and she said, "What do you guys playing today?" And I said, "Okay, nothing." And I said, "You want to go, you know, meet up somewhere?" I guess. I got you. Well, well I mean, why not hang out with an adult though? Someone, exactly. someone your age. I mean, can and you not find anyone your age, Aaron? Does that have to be? No, a... no. I got, I got people my age and stuff. Okay. And I, no one, I mean, what do you think? Everyone's busy today. Everyone's and, busy. Yeah. I mean, what do you think they would think about this? Do they know you're doing this? They probably think I'm an idiot too. Well, I mean, to say the least, and it's not the it, you know it's not the smartest thing you no, could be doing it's not. on a I, Sunday. I Tomorrow's the Fourth of July. You could be at home prepping fireworks, maybe getting some stuff on the grill. But instead, you're here meeting up a 13-year-old girl. And I agree. I understand. Now I can't say you were going to do anything sexual because you didn't talk about that. But right. I'm. Right. I just want to let you know it's really not an okay thing to meet up with a 13-year-old girl I either way. It. I totally so. understand. That. Okay. I feel right. Very embarrassed about it right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would too. That's usually, that's usually what we get. I mean, I, I don't know, Aaron. Uh, I mean, what do you, what do you think should happen to you? I mean, well, I where do we go from here? 
because we do have to forward this over to the police just you know for their their alertness just so you know just so they're aware record, what's that i don't want that on my record well you. you made the choice to come know, here I, to meet I, up I with did, her I you did, know I no did. one made you do that aaron yeah i know you know, I'm just I'm just doing my job. I know you are. So. I I totally understand you are. Okay, as long as you understand. Um, man, I really don't want that on my record. Oh, I I understand. No one does, but you know, well, no one. I didn't one, do anything. You, know, you, you didn't. Do, you didn't understand. do anything, but you, it's Correct. the point is you, you came to meet up with her and it Correct. said that you were gonna and you knew I, that I, very I well how old she was. I, fair enough. I understand okay. that. And my, that was my problem. My my fault. Yes. Well, I'm glad you you understand that, Aaron. And just one more thing, I do want to touch up on here too. Um, oh, first of all, you, you said you just came from your mom's house, right? Yeah. And she's doing good? No, my sister's house. Your sister's house. So, I mean, you, uh, you know, again, what would your mom or sister think about this? I mean, you just left them, and now you, where'd you, where did you tell them you were going when you left their house? I said I got other plans. Other plans? Yeah. You didn't mention that you had other plans no, for the 13. they don't get my business like that. They, I gotcha. I, I just, okay. I had other plans today. Okay, I was just wondering what the, you know, yeah, no. what you told them. Yeah, and I see no. you do have a, a dog here. Um, yeah. what, what's What's the dog's name? Uh, What's the dog's name? Oh, Batman. Okay, is it, do we have a boy or a girl here? It's a boy. It's a boy. It looks Batman. like a very good boy. How, how old is, is the dog here? He was very sick, actually. Okay. Uh, he's seven. He's seven. very sick, though, yeah. Very sick. Okay, he, hopefully he you're... Does, well, he does came out of recovery. I think I hopefully he made Okay, recovery. I gotcha. But, yeah. Well, being that, you know, you seem to like 13-year-old girls and the dog is seven, uh, is anything funny going on with the dog here that we should know about? Or? No, okay. Well, Aaron, no, is this funny? I mean, no, no, I'm being that, serious. No, it's a, I, I totally it's a understand. concern, you know. No, no. Not it's kind of within the age range, so. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I, I understand I, you got to ask that question. I agree. I just have to, I have to ask. You know, I'm not trying to, trying to be funny or anything oh, here. Wow. But, uh, okay, Aaron, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to go over with you, but I just want to let you know I'm Skeet Hansen with Predatorial Investigation Unit, and, uh, we're doing an online series about adults who, uh, Skeet Hansen. We're doing an online series about adults who try to uh, meet up with teens online. And um, just want you to know, you, you've just been skeeted. Um, if there's anything else you have to say, you know, we, we'd love to hear it. No, I'm, I just feel embarrassed, man. I, you okay. know, and I, I won't actually do that ever again. Okay, well, we, we really hope you don't try to do it again, No, Aaron. I, 100%, man. That's, okay. That's just, I, <laughs> It blew my mind. You, you know, did you see in there? I did ask how old you were. I said, and yeah. I just, I, I don't know why. Well, I recall I at first you it. said it wasn't okay, but then you talked to her again. Because it wasn't. In, in my point. mind, it wasn't. Yeah. And then she said hi again, and I don't know why. I, I just, I said, fuck it. I, like, I'm you said, just screw it. I'm bored. I'm going to meet up with a 13 year old girl. That was your No, I didn't thinking. say like that. I'm 100 percent glad there's people like you that do this because you are okay. Yes, because that's scary. Because if I did have a child, that is very scary. Well, because well, now you're thinking clearly. Yeah, I okay. am thinking clear. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I should have been thinking clear in the first place. But you should have. I guess maybe the, the boredom took over, would you say? Or? No, I just, I, yeah, I didn't have, dude, I, I work midnight. I have nothing to do. I just, I'm tired. I sleep all day. I got And you. then I was like, all my friends went up north. And I, said, I said, I got nothing to do, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I said, screw it. I said, yeah. I'll go out and go kart. That's on the phone? With a 13-year-old girl. Okay. Well, none of my other... I mean, well, why not just go by yourself if you have I nothing should've. to do? I mean, why no, why I include should've. a 13-year-old girl? With it, I you know. I, I don't know. I just... They hit and she... Maybe just... The, the, it was there right there, the question. And you okay. want to hang out and want to do something? I said, fine, yeah, that's cool. Want to meet up for go-karts? That's cool. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That was the only place I thought about? Boom. Gotcha. I guess just maybe... In the public, and I was like... Sure. Just maybe not thinking the most clearly as you could have today. No, I didn't. Maybe. I didn't think. Okay. I didn't think clearly, and I, I, I should have thought better. Okay, Aaron. Yeah, un understandable. Why? Well, I, you know, I hope you can learn from this. I, you know, I don't want to see you out there talking to thirteen-year-old girls oh, again because if it happens again, we're most likely going to know about it. Oh, I know. So. No, I'm good. I'm good about it. I'm, I promise you. And I. Okay. Yep. I, I really don't want that on my. <laughs> I, I gotcha. Yeah. Well, Aaron, I mean, you know, you still got the, you know, I'm just doing what I got to do. Yeah, but I, I was going to say, you do have the whole day ahead of you. I mean, I mean, nothing's stopping you from going in, putting a ball in, in 18 holes exactly. if you want to real quick, you know. No, if I'm playing, you want to play me? <laughs> um, well, I was, I was thinking that you, you said you'd rather me not submit this. Um, if, if, if I could beat you, if, if you can take me on in, oh, in the 18 oh. holes, um, you may have an opportunity to redeem yourself. Really? Oh man! I mean, just maybe. Well, you know, it's 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 up to you, yeah, but you. but yeah, but the thing is, you you got to pay for it. <laughs> I pay for you. That's that's the thing. I pay for you. I'll try. Okay. Which one you want to play?
Which one you want? Got us a couple of balls there. Um, I tend to be a little more masculine, so I'll take the blue one if you don't mind. Thank you. Oh, I took the, the blue one here. <laughs> yeah, he, he got a pink I and... I pink one. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I thought he was taking me to one of those pregnancy review uh, <laughs> reveal parties or something. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're, the, one. You're, yeah. you're the one that's not going to have blue balls. Shit. Exactly, yeah, that's that's the goal, you know. Uh, was I supposed to get a receipt? No, no, she gave me the balls. Right? Yeah, we did that I'd rather have the balls over the receipt if I were you. Yeah, you, you want to get a few practice shots in, that's fine. <laughs> but um, I am an elite puff up golf player, so I don't I don't require a warm up. So oh, no, just just a little bit. I used to I used to play in an adult league. I didn't even know there's a league. Oh, there is. Yeah. Yeah, it's separate from the one that the you know the 13 year old girls play in. Is that, is that your practice shot? Is that all the warm up you need, it's Aaron? You Either way, I'm about to recycle your career. <laughs> uh, whatever hole we play, huh? Are you really on a league? What's that? Were you really on a league? Oh, oh yes, back in the day, it was, Where was, it, was some, it was some real stuff. Oh, it was uh, back when I wasn't living here, somewhere in Vegas. Oh, oh I'll say God. somewhere in Vegas, okay. yeah. I never even heard, I never even knew there was a pop up league. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's real big. It's real big. You guys on first? Uh, you, you, can, you can go first, I'll, I'll give you that. So but before we, we get into it, we'll lay some ground rules. Now we, we don't have all day, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the first to, first to three holes, and um, whoever gets them first will win. And um, if you win, then you can, you can walk away scot-free. You know, I won't submit this information, and uh, you, you can live to see another day. But if you lose, I'm gonna have to submit this uh, you know, to the police. What happens when you go to the police? Does they just record it? Well, it's a case. To, it's a case-to-case -case thing. Um, you know, we've seen guys get a slap on the wrist. We've seen guys do time in jail. Really? Uh, really, Aaron. So it's you know it's a serious Please, thing. I don't need that. You know, learning a minor is a little. Well, no one needs a 13-year-old girl to hang out with I, if they're, when they're 32 either. So. I, I understand it. I understand. So. I, I wish you luck. Dang, man, it's like pressure on me now. <laughs> <laughs> A <laughs> little bit. I mean, this could be the defining factor, and if you go to jail or down, so yeah, yeah, you gotta make this shot count. That's a good one. No, it's horrible. No. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, let's uh. That's, oh, that, that's that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and take mine now here. Uh, we got this. I'll uh, uh, keep in mind it has been a while. Uh, it's almost there, pretty close, pretty close. Oh, he's going for it over the box shot. This is uh, actually a known trick amongst the uh, tournament papa community back in the day. And maybe he's hustling me, I don't know. Uh, close, Aaron, but not close enough. All right. Uh, Ugh. May Tiger Woods bless me. <laughs> oh my All right. God. Now that's that's a, a hole in two right there. What's that? What's that? You beat me on this hole or we're going by far? Or something. Okay. Oh, he, he got that one. Okay, I guess we'll uh, progress to uh, number two. Heat's really coming down now. You're from Vegas? Yeah. Uh, from from there originally, yeah. Well, no, no, from Michigan originally, but I was out in Vegas for a while doing some some work out there. Did you like, did you like Vegas? Oh, oh, it's great, you know, but what happens is there besides stays game, there. Besides gambling and... Oh, yeah, yeah, besides, uh, besides that, yeah, it was great. Is that where you've been great. in Vegas? Like, you know, I, I did for a good five years. Yep. That's, that's a different life. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can get into out there. It's a different you know. life. Oh, yeah, I went, um, when I went to Vegas, I just, I went, um, Kayaking down there today. Oh, okay. That's a fun time. My people don't, uh, some of my friends don't like the, they don't like, they don't like Vegas. They think it's just, that's what it is, gambling. And I said, oh, that's, that's lame. Not what it is. Well, there's more to do down there than that. Yeah. Well, where, where's the line at? I thought it was back here, right? Oh. Or would you? Well, we're, we're competing now, Aaron. I can't help you here. <laughs> well, where but, would we put the marker right here? There's well, the, the line right here, right? I would think. Um, I, I'd imagine so. Yep, but, you know, you can't go past that pillar, though, I'll tell you that. You cannot. 
You can? You can't go past the pillar. How old were you when you last watched it? No, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You hit the pillar on the nose there. Okay. Oh, I think my uh, best bet will be starting here, and I'm going to see if I can bang it off that wall over there. So. It's awfully close there. Looks like I may, uh, I, I may, be, I, I may be two for two on both of them here, it looks like. I don't know if you'll make it to Vegas, Aaron. I don't know. Did you win a lot of trophies? Uh, a few. I, I was good. Not the best, but good. And there it is. It's two for two. Oh, man, I gotta look up uh, two for two. Aaron, Aaron, it looks like that's two out of three, so that's uh, that's the best week. That's the best we're gonna be able to do here. So, what's that? Just one more hole. I know you only want. Um, you, what, just just for fun, you mean? Okay, we can do one more hole for fun. Well, yeah, we do got a do got another guy to catch in the next hour, so time is money. Busy, man. Uh, we're a little bit busy here at the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Doesn't it, isn't it like a bank shot? Uh, yes, that would that would be a off bank shot. No, off the curve, isn't it? Usually you hit that curve and then it comes over. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah there, there was a little there was a little curve there. Oh, I, I'm still warming up to my to my previous skill, you know. Are you really? Are you really playing it? I really played in it. Okay. Like I said, I wasn't the best, but I I, 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 I can hold my own. That blows my mind. I can hold my own. I never really would think there was a pump one. Oh, you never would have thought, but you know I. I never would have thought you'd be here to, to do what you were here to do today either. So I'll let you go ahead first since uh, we're doing just for fun. Go first. Oh, you, want to, you want to see me go first yeah, on this? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do it. Uh, go over the ramp, or if you go around there. Oh, oh no, I'll definitely. I'm definitely going with the ramp. I like a little. Okay. I like a bit of excitement in my life. <clears throat> Not too bad. Oh, all books. Looks good. That was that was a good shot there, Aaron. Oh. Best I've seen out of you yet. Now this is a it's a bit of a far one, but we'll do our best here. Oh, just just a little bit more power you need there. <laughs> just over it. Too much power. Aaron, they. they I still got pop play. What a fluke! They played you on that one. I'm not gonna lie. They did. You got that ring around over on the first one. Yeah. I should a little bit. I'm I'm I, I got I'm trying to show you mercy. I'll let you get one. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> there you go. That's what it should have given. There you the go. And we're in there. Oh, man. All right, Aaron. We we can call that three out of three. Yeah. We just got to cut through here if you ladies don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's what they tell me. I, I don't really see it when I look in the mirror, but th that's what they say. I don't know. Could just be opinion. <laughs> they can just return the, the balls to them too. I think they'll. I think they'll take them, or, or maybe over here. Well, all right, Aaron. Uh, since you did lose, I'm gonna have to, you know, report this to the police here. So Man. we're gonna have to go get your license plate, and we'll just be on our way from there. Right. And you can continue continue on with your day. Right. Well, I'll let you lead the way here, Aaron. It was good playing with you. Well, all right, Aaron. That's uh, pretty much it. I mean, we got, you know, you said all you were going to, well, you said all you were going to say, and we did do the the papa golf. So. Um, we're gonna to have to submit this to the police and maybe, you know, in the meantime, maybe sharpen your pup butt skills. <laughs> All right? Man, I can't believe you beat me, man. I gotta get your number on your day off. You gotta well, come play me. Hey, you know. Are you close if, by? I, well, we don't really give oh, yeah, information I, out on our whereabouts. Where you, you know. are, but are you yeah. close by kind of? Uh, well, within the area. Well, maybe we can play oh. again, man. Well, perhaps, I, I, perhaps one I, day. I, I will not in the bad way. I, I, you won't I understand. Way, but, I understand. But I, maybe, Maybe hit me up one day. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. Not we'll, on a trickster one. Though. Uh, I got you. We'll see what the what the police say to it. Okay. Safe travels, Aaron. All right, that was uh, that was Aaron. Uh, he came here to uh, Pirates Point, adventure golf to meet up with a uh, with a 13 year old girl. But that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, now, 
I haven't played golf in a while. I'm a little rusty. Um, so, uh, but but we did beat him. So you know that's all that matters. And we're gonna have to submit this all over to the uh, to the police here. So um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be a cut, boys. Uh, let's go get fucking drunk.